Shanti. The higher self, activating the third eye. That meditative state that allows you to channel your creative power. We're going to be exploring that. And this is something I've been exploring for probably 20 years or more. And it's what's what feeds my art. It's how, how do I tune in? How do I let go of my everyday mind? And it's a mind that overthinks. And you move into what I call no mind. And, you know, you still actually have a mind. But you're not thinking in words. And you're not second guessing yourself. You're sort of going with, what's my first response? And it's using, like, childlike curiosity and going, oh, that colour there is sort of shining for a reason. And you pick it up and you go... Ooh, where does it want to go and and you might not always know and you just start and it's just being playful and and just being really conscious and when you start a line you go does that work oh does that work mm. but you're not second guessing you're just following it and go when do I stop oh there versus you might have thought oh I'm gonna draw a circle mm. so it's it's just being in the moment and learning how to receive We'll be setting you up with how to meditate to be a clearer state. Things like, you know, maybe you end up chanting like we introduce this video. I personally play lots of music that is really meditative quite often with people singing because I want to slow down my breath. Because mm. when I paint fully, it's like there's no me. It's just the painting telling me what to do. And that's where we want to lead you. For me, when I start painting, I actually have to put a little alarm on to tell me when to stop because hours go and it feels like a moment. And you just get lost in that moment. Um, in this little micro space, I sort of paint often very slowly and very, um, let's say, that micro focus does take a little bit to translate what is happening there in that little space now and in that little space and in that little space it's not a quick journey um, and I really enjoy that gentleness that slowing down some people are a little bit more frantic and <laughs> it comes more quickly and more dynamically yeah. but that's okay because everyone has their own pace and their own way of, of putting yeah. something into um, reality mm. and those painting behind me is mine and it's reflecting that I've got an action painting background and so I'm all about physicality and so part of that um, flow is by the physicalness that you, you, you're using your whole body to move. Um, for you, you can reflect on when, when have I had time just dissolve where you can't tell if it's sped up or slowed down you're just gone in the moment. And it can be, sometimes it can be something really mundane. What, so you clean the dishes and you realise that you've gone on and had a little daydream. Those daydreams can be moments when you're connecting to something that's important to you. So it's capturing all those moments and going, okay, let's bring it into the art practice. So I hope you will join us on this amazing journey. As we can tell, I don't think anything quite like us has been out there on the marketplace. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy sharing meditation practice with you guys and and my own art perspective and journey and Diana, mm. she's going to be uh, a really amazing guide. She's got some incredible knowledge and between the two of us, I think this is going to be a really exciting time. Mm. And if we were to be really honest with you, the course in a way is about Diana, which isn't my name as such. Dhyana is a yoga term, it's one of the eight limbs, and it's sort of meditation, concentration, which for me goes the next level of old states of consciousness, where you're in that flow state, fully responding, receiving more than what you would have thought of. It's a key for bliss and learning where you go way beyond what you know from the unknown to the known. And, you know, that's also our metaphor that we've played with, with the water lily, that it comes up from murky water into the light and then it's fully visible, mm. revealing something new. The eight limbs talking about that just um, spurred me into thinking. I started my yoga journey when I was 13 and it was...
was not just about the asanas. It was a, it was about being present. It was about the thoughts I was thinking, mm. the way I was turning up into life. That was a big part of the yoga practice. And I think art is another aspect of that yoga practice, actually. Hmm. That's why I purposely changed my name to Diana because just to really remind myself on all levels, my practice is about tuning into source. It's not about my ego as such. It's seeing, like I believe, that there's some level of collective consciousness and I can tune into things and ground it in some way into art. So that's my starting point and hopefully... You'll find your starting point and keep rolling and we'll keep stimulating to how to keep progressing and developing. So we'll catch you on the other side when you click the button below. And share it with other people who might be interested too. <laughs>